Hi guys, my name is Mary. I'm going to be doing the first half of June reading for you all. June 1st through the 15th reading for Aquarius. How are you all today? I am doing wonderful. I hope you are too. Are you guys enjoying summertime? Nice weather? I am. This is for your sun, moon, and rising signs. It's not going to resonate with everyone. If it doesn't resonate, you might want to try your other signs. It does take me just a minute, you all. Please be patient. I don't know why that one's calling my name. Eight of Swords, the Chariot, Five of Swords, Two of Swords, and the Page of Cups. You guys feeling a little tied up? Judgment. Two of Pentacles and the King of Cups. Woman holding a coin and attachment. Success and recovery. Give me just a minute, okay? All right, you all. Are you guys feeling a little bit tied up, a little bit stuck, a little bit um, out of control a little bit right at this moment? Are you feeling like that as soon as you think something's about to happen, it doesn't happen fast enough? doesn't happen quick enough it doesn't happen in your uh, time that you're wanting you feeling a little bit restricted I feel like that that's what's going on with these cards with the eight of swords the two of swords the five of swords it just makes me feel like you guys are being and along with this attachment right here makes me feel like you guys are feeling a little bit um, out of sorts let's put it that way so here's the thing I feel like that if you guys are waiting on something if you guys are waiting on let's say a job offer or a contract or some sort of um, offer or message coming in agreement waiting to hear from someone I think it's coming I think that you guys are going to have an, an option that is going to uh, be a little tense at the beginning be a little bit 
stressful at the beginning. But I think that overall, in general, this is something that you've possibly been wanting, something that you have been thinking about, something that you have considered. And with that being said, I think once it sinks in, it's going to be a perfect offer or opportunity or new job or a new environment. There's going to be something that's going to get you guys excited. So I almost feel like, let me just give you an example, okay? And this is not gonna be for everybody, but this is just how I'm feeling. Let's say that um, you decide to go into the military and then all of a sudden you know that you're gonna be uh, sent to a different state or a different country. And then when, you, when that happens, you start going, holy cow, what did I do? And it tends to stress you out a little bit. But overall, in general, once it all sinks in and you start getting, you will start getting excited about it. And then, then you're going to realize that this is meant to be. You're, you don't want to leave your family, possibly. You don't want to leave your friends and all. And, but on top of that, it's going to be something that's really going to make you who you are. And it's going to make you a better person. So that's not for everyone, of course, but that's what I'm picturing in my head. That's just something. Now, it could be that somebody wants to give you a job in a different city or a different state or even a different country, and you guys have the option of taking it, but in that, it's going to be a little bit tense or a little bit stressful because of the fact that you don't want to leave your friends and family and everyone that you know behind. But it's going to be something that's really going to be great for uh, most of you guys. So with that being said, if you guys are looking for some sort of a, a new, uh, I was going to say a new life, but it, in that, that's how I'm almost feeling about it. And sometimes it's not you moving anywhere at all. Sometimes it's just getting a, a different type of a job or a different career or, or you know, doing something completely different. And that in itself will give you a new way of, of thinking, a new way of living, a new life in general. Because I have this empress, which makes me feel like um, this could be your energy today. And with her, she's just full of love and, and healing and um, motherly and kind and mother nature. And she loves the outdoors and things like that. She also can stand for birth, birth of a baby, birth of a new way of thinking, birth of a new life, birth of a new job, birth of a new um, you possibly and especially when I get this judgment card here too this really makes me feel like you know in my other deck this is called rebirth so I, I get this sense that there's going to be something possibly coming in for some of you guys maybe even a lot of you guys that's really going to give you a new opportunity in the way you're living in one way or another and in the meantime, you're feeling like you're stuck or you, and then this, this opportunity comes in and then you're like, holy cow, what am I supposed to do? And, and you're kind of stuck in this predicament and you could possibly be argumentative or even um, fighting or quarreling with other people. But this might not be with other people at all. This could be with yourself. You could be flip-flopping, you know. Oh, I want to take this job. Wait a minute, I can't leave this person. Oh, I want to do this. Wait a minute, you know. And you're going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. But I do believe you guys are waiting for this particular... I don't know if it's something specific or if it's just this new journey that you guys are wanting really bad in your life. I just feel like it could be something tiny for some of you all and something humongous for others. I feel like that this is something that's really going to get you excited with life again, with with your job possibly, with the way you're, you're living, the way you're thinking, the way you're handling things, and you're moving forward like... Um, <laughs> nobody can stop you now right that's how I'm feeling about these it gives me a good feeling even though I do feel like that that you guys may start off the month with a little bit of oh what should I do how should I handle this um, what's this attachment about by the way I almost feel like that there may be once again someone that you're attached to or or um, 
something that you're attached to that you might not want to let go of or they might not want to let go of you. So that could be where this Two of Swords is really coming in and, and really messing with your mind a little bit and you're like, what should I do here? But you're going to figure it out, you all. You all already know what to do and which way to go and how to handle certain situations. You just need to be able to um, be happy with the choice yourself, okay? Because I think if you're waiting for that message, it is going to be coming in for a lot of you guys. And this could be... Um, this page could also be someone, this could be a child, for instance, um, that could be um, preventing you from, from jumping on this opportunity. But maybe this child is either willing to go with you or maybe they understand, um, but maybe it's not. Maybe it's just this message coming in to give you this new opportunity and this new way of thinking and to make yourself emotionally fulfilled and happy and satisfied because you guys are moving forward. You really are. You may be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, male or female. Um, they may be giving you this opportunity or these options or this... Um, emotional happiness somehow some way you may be dealing with them they may be a partner of yours they may be a family member or someone to that extent or this is your emotions that you guys are finally able to be happy again so I have this success too and this woman holding a coin so all of these cards combined just really make me feel like that you guys are going to have an opportunity or a um, situation or a message or a something is going to happen that's that you are going to want to jump on and if you do and I think most of you will you're going to be extremely happy with it you're with your decisions and with your um, with the help possibly that you're going to be getting because I feel like that some people are going to be helping you and you are going to be successful. I have this recovery over here as well. And I almost feel like that maybe some of you guys have been either going through something. Maybe it's, um, it could be health issues. It could also be uh, kind of going a little bit, getting a little bit sad because you're, you're at home right now, you know. So maybe this is a recovery of your own mind, but maybe this is a recovery of health, of whether it's yours or someone in your family that you may be taking care of. I just feel like that things are going to start looking up for you all. And if you guys are waiting for something in particular, I think something's going to be coming in. And I don't necessarily think you it may be something that you don't expect. Let me let me put it that way, okay? But I do believe that it could be financially rewarding, and I think that you guys are going to be successful with it, and you are going to move forward in the best, almost determined. You're you're determined to to do something great for yourself and for your family, and and it's a really good feeling that I have, even though you might be a little bit tense and a little bit stressed out about it at the beginning. Whew. Give me just a minute, okay? I'm going to rearrange. I almost feel like here we go. I almost feel like that either this child or maybe let's put them this way I just feel like for some of you guys can't I have to put it like this this is just the way I see it so please excuse me for a minute sorry about that here's the thing you all I really do believe that for a lot of you guys you're going through this little bit of uh, I'm feeling stuck I'm feeling um, alone I feel like I'm in a situation that I can't ever get out of you're getting a little antsy you're getting a little um, 
argumentative possibly with other people and sometimes it's with yourself but I think that you guys are flip-flopping a little bit and you're not sure exactly what you're wanting or which way to go or how to handle certain situations, which uh, uh, option to take. But here in a second, I really do believe that there's going to be a message coming in for a lot of you guys. You guys could be thinking of a child of yours as well. But I think there's a message coming in that's going to give you an, an opportunity slash option slash job possibly that you guys are going to be thrilled about, but you're sad about something at the same time. But in the meantime, I think once you guys really get to think about getting to think about it and start to realize that this is important for yourself and for your life, you're going to jump on it. And I feel like that you're going to either, this could be you and you guys getting back into your skin that maybe you haven't felt like yourself in a while. You guys are, are really taking back over uh, control over your life. You're seeing things in a different way. You're enjoying um, outdoors possibly. But on the flip side of this, this makes me feel like an, a birth of a new situation, a birth of a new way of thinking, a new way of living, a new life for a lot of you guys. And when I say that, I don't mean that your whole life is going to be turned upside down. I mean something so minor and so small, whether it be a new job or working from home or a new business or something so, so minor can actually change the way you live, which is a really good thing for a lot of you guys right now. I feel like that some of you guys are dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, male or female. They may be the ones coming in giving you an option or an opportunity. They may be your partner, but I do believe that you're going to have um, options and you're going to see things in a different way with this judgment too. It just makes me feel like this is a new way of living for a lot of you guys and a new way of thinking and a new happiness that maybe you haven't had in quite some time. I think that maybe you have an attachment or someone is attached to you someone something a situation and you need to uh, let go of this or release it or uh, handle it the best way that you can let's let me put it that way um, but i do also think with this recovery that some of you guys have been under the weather some of you guys are dealing with a health issue some of you guys are dealing with a more of a uh, get me out of this house issue <laughs> you know you're kind of going a little bit stir crazy you know what i mean and or you're dealing with a, someone in your family or a family member that you're helping they they or you or whoever this is is going to have a fast recovery and things are going to start looking up in a lot of different ways that might be why you're you're not wanting to jump on this opportunity for some of you all but i think that it could possibly come with a financial reward i think that a lot of you guys are going to to really um be doing something that you're extremely excited about you're moving forward in some sort of a new opportunity or a new situation or a new way of thinking and you are not looking back and you're strong and you're determined and you're just going to keep moving forward this in my mind is something that you guys have been waiting for looking for thinking about praying about wanting so bad you can almost taste it and now all of a sudden it's coming to life you guys are really going to be i think by the end of this month maybe even by the middle of june you guys are really going to be excited with some sort of a new opportunity coming in for a lot of you guys it could come in the sign of a message of some sort so pay attention to that all right, you guys, this is a great reading. I hope you guys have enjoyed it as much as I have. This is your first half of June reading for Aquarius, June 1st through the 15th for Aquarius. Hope you guys have enjoyed it, and I hope you guys come back and see me. Take care, you guys. I'll see you soon.